Welcome back guys to day three of the vacation, uh, going the East Coast, paranormal tour. Right behind me is the Houdini Museum. We're in some place in Pennsylvania. Not sure exactly where. This place is haunted because they do a bunch of seances here and stuff like that. Who knows if it's real, but uh, here's a uh, museum for Houdini. We're gonna go check it out and see if we can get anything inside there. As well as um, some lady was talking to us and telling us some of the stuff she experienced. So here's what she said real quick. I was talking about Houdini and this and that, and there was an, an artifact on the other side of the room, and I'm not kidding, it flew like like 20 feet across the room, right, Crazy. right toward the people, just whoosh, and they said, wow, that's cool, how you do that? I said, okay. <laughs> I, can't, I don't want to explain it to them, right. because I don't want to freak people out that are very religious and think yes. that, oh, I got to get out of here because it's haunted. We have seen dark shadows oh, suck right into that wall. Yeah. Black shadows. You can actually hear, if you're if you're attuned to it, you can hear conversations that the spirits are not talking to you or me; they're talking to each other. You can wow. you can. It sounds kind of like just a little conversation, very very faint. I've heard it. I've also heard like um, it's kind of like you know how when rain is a real gentle rain, it's like crackly. Yeah. You know, that you hear right in the the back part, right in the the center, like where the aisle is. I had a porcelain um, rabbit. Porcelain. It's like, you know, like, pot, like, yeah, heavy, this tall. It was up on the shelf, and in the daytime, that rabbit went up over the ledge, lifted over the ledge and across the other side of the room, smashed on the floor. The, the crackling, the crackling sound is right over here. The conversation is here. The black shadows go over there in this room and in that room. There's just endless amount of stuff that happens when we get to that room in there. Way out to there, and the guy died like right there. Heart attack, right. sudden heart attack. So he's still here. Um, and there's there's three other spirits that we know. See these metal chairs? The folding chairs. They're very heavy. So the one. Um, the one investigator who's kind of a jerky guy. You know, I mean, there's some people you just meet him and you go, okay, okay jerk. <laughs> you know what I mean? You just say, but he was sincere that he wanted something to happen, but he didn't want, he wanted it on his terms. You know, it's like, yeah, okay, so I'm here now. What do you got? You know, I said, okay, I got nothing. I don't control anybody. It's like, right. I, you don't control me. I don't control anybody else. So he was going on, and then we had it totally dark. He was sitting on the step here, and he had a pendulum, and so he sat over here with a flashlight with the pendulum on the ceiling, shining on the ceiling. It was brilliant. I loved it. And so he, he was asking it yes or no questions, and he actually did get a conversation with spirits. So then he insulted them. He said, yeah, well, sure, you can just move a little ball on a chain. No big deal. Uh, that's not that's not proof that there's anyone here and those chairs went fuck up all like like the, and they're heavy i'm not kidding each one is like you know 15 20 pounds a piece they went fuck up and he went he i'm not kidding the flashlight flew he was like screaming he oh was like God. okay i have to apologize i really have to apologize and i said you know what you're not you really shouldn't be here right they've done nothing wrong to anybody What's up guys, I'm at Letchworth Village um, Mental Hospital in Letchworth, New York. There are tons of buildings around me that are abandoned from the hospital. When it was a hospital, they had tons of treatments here, tons of mental illnesses. They dealt with the imbeciles here. Um, I'm going to go around to these buildings and investigate. I don't know if I'm going to go in or not because it says no trespassing literally like every five feet on the building. Every window says no trespassing on it, on the boards. Um, so I'm gonna try not to get in trouble. If I do, then we'll just end the video there. This is gonna be our day three video. So um, this place is haunted because, well, it's a mental hospital. What do you think is gonna happen inside of a mental hospital? It's gonna be haunted because they didn't treat the patients well, they gave them drugs, and they died inside these mental hospitals. They had many diseases like polio and other stuff like that. Even during the times back then, they would like put people in here that were gay just because, well, apparently that's an illness. But um. Yeah, so we're going to check this out. This area is huge. It goes all the way back there. Um, don't know if you can see back there or not, but it goes all the way that way. All the way that way. 
that way down there and then there's just tons of buildings on a sidewalk I'm just gonna walk around have some equipment out and just yeah we're gonna check it out and it's gonna be cool what's up guys we're still here um, right behind me is probably the main building for for uh, that's a black cat hi kitty Now I'm having a freaking field day. I don't even know which building to go into. There's just so many. Look at that building over there. There's a building right here. I just don't. I don't know which one to go into. I don't know which ones are open. I know this is a dog park, so we're technically allowed to be here. We're just not really allowed to go in the buildings, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I'm rebellious. Let's see. There's a pathway up here. That black cat's over here somewhere too. Oh, that's sketchy. Another basketball court. There's a wagon and water up there. Uh, it's really sketchy. They are burned, aren't they? Huh. That's crazy. You were walking on the board and... What? It said board. Oh. <laughs> shouldn't really be any like type of electricity going through this building oh to begin gosh, with. Like just a hallway. That is so creepy. Yeah. That's where it looks cool. Yeah, mold. I think someone burned this room. Is this the morgue back here? I Maybe. don't know. Yo, he's like getting crazy morgue. readings too. Is this the morgue? No, I'm asking. It's the spirits. This what I'm asking. Yeah. <laughs> You 
pretty sure those wasps too. It's this. Oh, thank you. That stick. How could someone not be scared? I have no idea. Yeah, this like, this place was definitely like burnt. This is the morgue. This is where they would burn their bodies. They burn bodies inside of this. Wait, this means stairs must be right over here then. Because I remember we came down and they saw this. So there must be a pair of stairs right over here then. That's crazy. Do you think this is where they burn the bodies? Yeah, this is because, uh, okay, this would pull out right here. This would pull inches. Okay, um, so like, basically, yeah, so like, they heat up and they burn the bodies. Dude, I'd say if one of them would roll out, I'd hop in there. Like, lay down on it, so I'll push it in real quick. What? That'd be, it'd be cool. Um, it'd be like a cool experience. Like, oh, I've been inside of a, you know, cremator. Okay, what do you want us to do? It, it doesn't open, so. That could have been where they gave out medication to the, and this is the doctor's room it looks like because of all the cabinets and stuff like that, so they must have did medical treatments. Yep, this was definitely... Oh, this is cool. Dude, look at that big ass spider over there. Or whatever that is. I don't even know what that is. There's a couple. Dude, look at that one. Well, oh, these, these are those weird bugs I was looking at. Oh, look, that's probably what those cricket spiders are or whatever. Okay, so I wasn't filming, but uh, it keeps saying relevant words. Like? It keeps going off for some reason. Okay. It keeps just saying stuff, and it's at Halo, and there's a church right there. And uh, it said several. Hope you guys enjoyed episode three of the vacation days. There's a couple days left. This is probably gonna be the best one out of the the ones that are coming out. Um, I'd like to thank Christian, Jessica, and Sarah for showing me through the asylum. Um, I don't know if they're watching this or not, but if they are, thank you so much for showing me through the asylum and everything like that. I'm very appreciative for that. Um, I'm sorry that I haven't been posting a lot lately, but we're working on one of the investigations at Edinburgh Manor. So, uh, yeah, we're really trying to work it out and trying to start new series and stuff like that. We're currently working on a setup and a layout for one of the uh, the backgrounds for our series. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode and more is to come very soon. Thank you for watching and subscribe for more.